I think that like when the when the when the the ball is gonna when, when like the ball is gonna get in the earth, I think like it's like that gravity is gonna push it all the way to the middle, and so like I think it's gonna stay there, like still. It's gonna go to the center and just stay there. Yeah. How come it doesn't pass all the way through? What's preventing it from passing all the way through? I don't know. That's fine. That's, okay. um, That's what I'm asking. So we're, we're going to we'll do a little bit. That when we drop the ball, um, that it will go halfway through the earth, and then it will stop in the middle because of um, the earth's gravity pushes it down, but on the other side, it will pull it up, um, down again, so it will stay in the middle and trapped by the two gravities. The two gravities? Well, the two sides of the Earth's gravity thing. Yeah, that's what I was like, so again, uh, tell me again how the ball is going to fall through the Earth. Through the hole. I know, but but over <laughs> one year, two years, or three years, or ten years, how is it going to, what's the path of the ball? It's going to go through the middle, and then when it reaches the middle, over here, it's um, going to stop because of the gravity pulling it down from this side. It will stop here but it won't go through because of the gravity pulling it down here. So if it goes here, it will pull it back down up to the middle. It won't stop there. So let's, let's because um, from what I think is that gravity is pushing down, so on all sides, gravity is going to drop. So what I think is that gravity will help the ball come down, but then over here, since the gravity is pushing down this here as well, like Gabriel said, it will just crash. So I'm expecting the ball to be trapped over here against two surfaces. So it's like, you can use an example as a magnet up here, a magnet up over here. Then after you can put a ball, a little metal ball over here, and it's just going to stay in balance. So that's what I think. Or second thing is that it just might go down. It will just go down and disintegrate because, for example, if you spit from, let's say, the Empire State Building and someone is underneath, they might die. Or they might be blinded if they open if they look up like that. Okay, thank you. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I have thought my theory about it going one way through. I don't think it will. I personally now think that gravity pulls you. It's not doesn't push you towards the earth. It pulls you because if it pushed pushed you, then if some then if someone was underground, um, I think maybe they should start to float. Because if gravity, say gravity is here and it's pushing down, but here you're not flattened against the earth, you can actually stand up. Then if this is when gravity becomes too weak to flatten you, if you're underground, shouldn't you start to float and it's up? And um, I think I think that pulls you towards the earth. And if the ball if it goes around the center, and when it crosses the center, it's gonna it's gonna pull it back. Up, instead of going all the way through, it might pull the ball back up to the center again, and the ball might rest in the center because if it goes too far to one side, it will pull it down, and if it goes too far to the other side, it will pull it back up again. Copy last. I think that um, it might actually, because in a year or two, if it stays there for a long time, it might actually just um, drop itself on. Um, you know how you, if so, if someone like, if some people just pull you. You, you might like break something, but um, so if the gravity on top is um, attracting it to, to itself, but the but the one that's making it fall is attracting it, so it just just tucked there in the middle, being pulled by two um, magnets, and it might actually, and if it ever rips off, um, one of it, it, it might one one power like might get stuck on the wall because of the magnet, and the other one might just go down and be burned to shreds.